ladies before i get into this video what is an overshare that you regret doing <laughs> what is an overshare that you've done and regret doing we've all done it okay what is something that you shared and you wish you could just not okay and i know technically you're oversharing under the comments like that's technically counteracting but i'm just curious like when did you realize oversharing was bad or like when you had a moment you were like dang i shouldn't have said that just let me know in the comment sections because i feel like this skill right here needs to be mastered today okay okay Okay. Hey, and welcome to my channel. This is Lex Marie with another video. Today, today we are talking about being quiet. Okay, stop talking, stop sharing. Stop moving this mouth. Stop talking. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Zip. Okay. Um, sorry, y'all. I have like all this energy now. I just got over COVID. And yeah, I was in the bed for like two days and then all of a sudden I feel good now. So I thought, hey, let's have this video. I've had this topic in my notes for quite some time now. And I feel like I'm just seeing it more and more, especially on TikTok, especially on TikTok where we just over freaking share so this video is going to be geared towards my young ladies out there my young supporters and my new ones um on just how to not share so much and like why you shouldn't be sharing so much so hopefully you did come to the right video and before we get into these reasons and tips or whatever just make sure that you like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel um also i do have tiktok instagram and twitter so make sure you add me on all of my platforms and i also have depop as well so if you are interested in getting a pre-loved unit by me make sure that you go to my depop all of the um tags and links are down below so you can just click it follow me on instagram click it you know go on my depop and do all of those things so make sure you do that after or during this video it really doesn't matter so you can keep up keep up keep up but uh yeah let's get into oversharing so before i get into the reasons i just wanted to talk about like my journey with being someone that sometimes overshares and then sometimes doesn't share and just how it's been for me which is sharing my personal life so as you guys know i am lex marie to y'all um other people call me lex other people call me alexa and etc 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 and uh i don't like to personally me i don't like to share every single thing that goes on in alexa's life um with lexa marie if that makes sense so a lot of the things that go on in my personal life with my family with my friends or just like accomplishments that i have in my life i tend to be the creator i'm sorry i know I'm, it's probably going to change throughout time depending on like how good i get with um like privacy but there's a lot of things i just don't post there's a lot of things I just don't capture. There's a lot of moments I just don't share on social media. And a lot of it has to do with um, my feelings of those people probably during those moments or uh, just how sensitive those times are for me. And I know if I put it on social media and someone says something crazy, I'm gonna lose my ish. Or if I put it on social media and somebody important sees it or someone that I didn't originally want to see the... Um, the postseason i'm like dang now you know they're gonna ask me about it and i didn't want them to see it so there's some things that i just like to keep personally private memories i like to keep private um not necessarily like people but just more memories experiences things of that sort and i like to keep a lot of my accomplishments low-key too until you know you know then then it's time to share so me personally sometimes i like to share more service level things rather than like deep personal stuff on my social media platform or just in life in general until i really get to know those people or I really get comfortable with my platform so right now i'm kind of in that stage where it's like i do share some things but i don't share every single thing and i feel like 
some people just get to a point where they share every detail about their life and I think there's a lot of benefit that comes with that especially with social media because it allows people to build a personal connection with you and I'm just like heck no I understand you're gonna build a connection but it's gonna have to be with my personality and not my you know we're not gonna trauma bond on on my uh youtube channel you know i just wanted to be more good vibes uplifting and you know maybe use my stories to help you guys maybe not deal with what i dealt with but i never want to like overshare and that be the reason why like people keep watching keep watching keep watching because once you do that in my experience and what i've seen people tend to expect you to continue to overshare and i just uh-uh so that's just like my little take on oversharing um if you do it hey <laughs> you know by all means do you but these reasons are probably going to help you understand why it's probably not best to overshare especially as an influencer or anyone on social media any young lady like myself if you see some attributes that you may want out of me or we have similar attributes this may be a reason these this may resonate with you so the very first reason why you should not be sharing everything on social media is because it's really no one's business it's really no one's business and i hate sorry i strongly dislike social media sometimes because people make us really feel like we have to share everything and that's not true at all you do not have to tell everyone that you have a man you do not need to tell everyone that you don't like cheeseburgers you do not need to tell everyone that you stopped talking to your friend um today and she made you feel like you do not have to but sometimes we feel that it's our duty and it's important to share every feeling or freaking thought we have in our head and that's not true at all so me personally like um i have no fear and telling someone it's none of your business and a lot of people feel like that's rude but you kind of have to check people nowadays when you're saying oh you know i'm down you know and they're like what's the matter tell me what happened what happened what happened and you're just like i'm going through a lot but you know what? i'll get through it it's no worries like i'll tell you after you know when i kind of process my feelings some people don't even like hearing stuff like that or just the straight up you know it's none of your business so you just have to get comfortable with the idea that your business is not everyone else's business okay i see things on tiktok where people share how a guy did them dirty they did this they show the messages and it's not like we asked for it but they're like putting it in our face and then they're mad when people have an opinion about it if you're sharing something sensitive that is your own business keep it your own business please like it's just it's not for everyone to know it's not for everyone to have a comment on if you don't want anyone to comment on something then don't share it so i would say just for the why you shouldn't be sharing it's just really no one's business it's super easy just it's nobody's business <laughs> okay so the second reason why you should not be sharing everything about your life yourself or whatever is because not everything pans out the way you want it to pan out all right and I had to get this through one girl's scalats because it's like she didn't understand why I didn't want to tell her I was applying to this place, I was auditioning for this, I was interviewing for that. I'm not going to tell you something I'm trying to go for until I'm there. And I don't understand, I still don't get why I had to like draw a diagram for this girl but basically I think it was something where I was applying to uh, multiple hospitals in my area and I literally told no one I literally just said I have an interview at so-and-so I didn't say when I applied I like I did not talk about the process at all and then I stayed quiet and maybe three weeks later I announced to everyone once I signed the acceptance letter where I was gonna be working and people are like what like I didn't even know you already applied blah 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 I'm like you don't need to know you just need to know when I have reached that goal not a lot of people knew when I applied to nursing school or when I took the T's exam for nursing school not a lot of people knew not a lot of people knew the grade I got the only people that really knew were like my mom and my dad 
and my um, significant other at the time. That was literally it. And like I said, I announced it once I signed the letter when I got into nursing school. Like I do not like to announce anything. And the main reason for doing that is because I don't handle embarrassment or rejection well. So if everyone knows that I applied to like, I don't know, Stanford, everyone knows I applied to Stanford. Yeah, I'm going to Stanford. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I'm going there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I get a decline then all those people that I told are now looking and being like, hmm, you know, some people are judging, some people are like, oh yeah, I knew she wasn't gonna get in, or some people are like, wow, that sucks, oh, I'd hate to be her. You know, people then comment, and you would be missing all of that commentary if you just didn't tell people at all. Like, if you just <laughs> kept your L's to yourself. So that's like the main reason why. Another reason why I just don't share my plans until it happens is because like I said, they just don't go as planned. Something as simple as me going to Miami. Like, I remember I had planned a trip to go to Miami. The only people that knew was me and my friend that I was going to Miami with. And what ended up happening was she got sick one day before I was supposed to get on the flight. And what did I do? I had to cancel the flight, right? So if I had announced to everyone, yeah, I'm going to Miami, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I'm turning up, I'm turning up to you. You might think that's not a big deal, but to me, it's like, after I just announced to everyone, yeah, I'm going to Miami, yeah, you're gonna see me, whatever. I spoke too soon. Now I'm not going to Miami. Now, you know, my flight is canceled. Now I can't, now I can't see my friend. So I just feel like it just saves me a lot of explanation and a lot of talking. Because if I talk less, you know, I won't have to explain myself if things don't pan out. So that's just personally me. I like to do my L's in silence. I like to, you know, reflect in, in private, you know, uh, take, take my L's privately. I don't like to publicly take L's. So that's just personally me. I like to keep that um, more to myself and maybe like between like my immediate family. But yeah, number two, just not everything pans out the way you want it to pan out. So don't always share before you've, you know, gotten to a place or reached a certain goal, in my opinion. And relationships, people, and I wanted to just slide that in there. A lot of people will be like, yeah, this is my man, my man, my man, I'ma marry him, my man, my man, my man, my man, my man, my man. My man, my man, my man, my man. This is what me and my man. And then they get cheated on and then they're not with Mr. My Man and then they don't have my man or their man. So it's just, you never know what's gonna happen so don't talk too much, okay? That's number two. So this is for my social media girlies and the girls that are trying to attract more than, you know, more than they are now. The third reason why you should not be sharing too much is because it's just unattractive. Don't come for me, <laughs> okay? Because I already see the girls. Oh my God, why are you saying it's unattractive? It's way more attractive and classy to just stop talking. Stop sharing opinions. They gonna hate me and I don't care. But I learned, I get farther when I stop talking. I get further when I stop acting like I know everything. I get further when I let people think that they know more than me. And real people, real OGs, know what I'm talking about. You can read this in the book, um, 48 Laws of Power, okay? There's more power in silence. All right. <laughs> and I just, I can already see the comments. The girls, okay, and we know the girls. The girls that just broke up with their dude, right? And post 13 subliminals on their on their main story. We, were, we know, we know the type of issues they had in their relationship, right? You know, boo. But the Lori Harveys, the Lori Harvey's where you know she posts her man every now and then the smiling pics and then deletes all his pictures and then has a new dude in like three months she had to say nothing she lived her life 
she snatched, she got snatched back. She's doing her. She doesn't talk. And I wish I could just do a video just on like what we can learn from Lori Harvey. She doesn't speak. And you know how much social media, like how much time social media spends on her? Literally a day. They will spend maybe a day to two days talking about this girl. <laughs> and then they'll move on to the next thing. Because you know what she's going to do? She's not going to respond to y'all. Because you're not worth responding to. So you guys need to learn. Ladies, you need to learn. Some people aren't worth responding to. Some things aren't worth sharing. Some things aren't necessary to share. It's unattractive. And the minute you open your mouth, the minute people think, you know, or realize that you're you know, smarter than you look, they're like, eh, oh, she's talking too much. Like, have you ever seen a guy and he's fine until he opens his mouth? It's the same thing. <laughs> no, 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 I'll play, I'll play, but it's the same thing. You know what I'm talking about. Um, so just be mindful, especially on social media. Like if you're a brand, keep it a brand. If you want to brand yourself as, you know, so-and-so or Alexa Marie, whatever, stick to your content. Don't. Don't tell us about your intimate, personal, just don't. It's not necessary. It pushes people away from you, especially if you're trying to like build revenue, just stay on course and find other ways to express yourself, not through social media. So whether you wanna do something in private, like, you know, um, poetry writing, cleaning, talk to a girlfriend, anything else, anything else but going on social media and letting strangers know about your personal business it's a mm -mm, it's not attractive at all so i know that's gonna get some flack for whatever reason there's always that one girl but in my opinion i just think oversharing is very unattractive like girls that share every deep intimate personal like part of their business it leaves no mystery to them and i feel like a lot of people whether they want to believe it or not, they crave mystery. They crave the unknown. So when you're that girl that no one truly, truly understands, okay? That's, that's for you. It makes people curious about you. It makes people want to know more about you. It makes people intrigued and, you know, talk about you. But if you're the girl that, you, it's like you're an open book. We know you front to back. Nobody's truly interested. Nobody's truly curious so that's just another thing to keep in mind um you know the girls that get it get it the girls that don't don't so <laughs> that's just my little it's my little it's my little gem it's not attractive boo all right so the fourth reason why you should not be oversharing why you should not overshare and keep yourself a mystery is because not everyone truly cares about you and is truly supporting you when you share your goals and aspirations and dreams. <sighs> some people will laugh straight in your face. Some people will say it'll never be. Some people will say it's dumb. Some people will just put you down and project their fears onto you. This includes family. <laughs> this includes your man or your girl. So mm -hmm. some things you just gotta keep in here. All right, so. <sighs> I know a lot of y'all and I've been a, I've been, you know, I've done this. I think, you know, they're just a good person. You know, they would never. Until you share something personal or very sacred to you or something you're kind of nervous about already and they shoot it down. Okay. And I'm all about protecting myself and protecting my spirit and protecting my peace. So if I want to work on something, if I'm trying to do something, you know, and I'm not too sure about it, but I'm going to do it anyway, I'm gonna keep it to myself. And I'm gonna tell myself until I'm there, keep it on the low, keep it on the low, keep it on the low, regardless, because a lot of outside opinions can truly mess up your path to your goal. You know, a lot of outside opinions can truly stop you from probably reaching, you know, potential that you never thought you could reach. So just be careful 
about who you share things with or what you share things with because not everyone is truly supporting you. I know I have people on my YouTube channel literally clicking on chan um literally clicking on videos saying, "Oh, she sewed this. Oh, she sewed that. Oh, I hope she doesn't." I know there's people doing that. I know there's people going on your social media doing the same thing, sis. People do it. People do it. People are waiting for you to mess up. People are waiting to latch on to a goal you have and pray negative things over it or put negative spirit over it so just be mindful about what spirit you want to be uplifting your goals and dreams rather than putting down your goals and dreams and the best way you can protect it is by just keeping it to yourself between you and god that's it you and you and you and you and god okay so that's just my fourth tip and then i'm gonna hit y'all with my final tip or final reason. See, I've been saying tip this whole time. I've really been saying, I meant to say reason, y'all. I'm so sorry. But the fifth reason and the final reason why you should not be sharing every single thing is because you should be sharing the blueprint after the blessing. And y'all can quote me. Make sure you put Lex Marie. Share the blueprint after you, after you have the blessing. Share the blueprint after you receive the blessing, okay? However you wanna take it, share the blueprint after you receive the blessing. Because one thing I'm gonna tell you, one thing I'm gonna tell you, people were asking me for the blueprint on how to be a YouTuber at 5K. Like, girl, I'm still trying to figure it out too. I'm still trying to figure it out too. Like, how you gonna ask me? That's like a girl asking me, you know, how can I lose weight and I lost a pound? Girl, wait until I lose like 14 and 14, 15 plus. Then talk to me. Don't talk to me when I literally just started. And a lot of people will do that. A lot of people will munch, 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 munch. You know, as they see you getting to the top. Wait until you're already there. Wait until you've already made it. Wait until you've already reached the success you, you know, you wanted. And the goals that you, you know, wanted. Wait until you've achieved those things. Don't be trying to pick people up and you trying to pick yourself up. Because ain't no one helping you. Nobody's helping me. Respectfully. Nobody is helping me. I don't have any friends that are quote unquote influencers. No real. I don't have any like genuine real friends that are influencers that are helping me. Some influencers have other influencing friends. It is just me y'all. It's just freaking me. So like. And you can hate me for this or whatever. I do give advice every now and then, but I don't feel comfortable giving you advice if I feel like I haven't even reached success yet. If I'm not at a point where I'm like, dang, like I'm doing this influence and stuff, like I'm doing my thing. Why would I give you advice if I'm not even where I'm comfortable at? So stop sharing the blueprint before you've reached the blessing. Stop sharing the blueprint before you've received the blessing. Wait. Stop oversharing because you might, you know, you might be helping someone out before you're helping yourself and they get further than you. Because you're too worried about everyone else. Be worried about yourself first. So all that goes to say is like, I personally think sharing in, in terms of this reason, sharing should be done after. Sharing should be done to bring people up to where you're at. But if you're trying to get up there, just focus on you. Stop trying to help everyone and be, you know, Captain save a Ho, you know, saving every girl, you know, bringing them up. Wait until you've gotten comfortable with your success and where you are with content creating or influencing or whatever you're doing. You know, be going into law school, going into nursing school, going into anything. Wait until you've reached the point where you feel success has been achieved and then help others. Like, for example, not influencing related, cause I know everyone, yeah, some of y'all, you know, regular girl, you know. <laughs> or nursing actually, cause I do have some nursing followers. I was not giving girls game in nursing school. The heck, barely. I feel like I could not efficiently talk about, you know, how to graduate nursing school, how to do well in nursing school. Why am I going to make content like that consistently and I haven't even graduated yet? Well, now I have. <laughs> BSN. 
I gotta take my RN license soon. But why would I talk about it if I haven't achieved it yet? How am I gonna talk about passing a class if I haven't passed yet? How does that work? If we're in the same boat together, how am I gonna help you if I'm, if I'm still, you know, rowing my boat? That doesn't make any sense. So me personally, I had some girls that <laughs> would use me or try to use me to help um, themselves in nursing school. And personally, I was just focused on me, focused on graduating, focused on getting my degree, cause I had to put me first. They're not paying for my tuition, my mother is. <laughs> so, you know, I gotta, you know, she's, she's on my ass. So I said, no, like I really can't help you. I'm just focusing on, you know, what I gotta do, but I'm sure you can do well, you know, get these resources. That's all I really said. But now that I've graduated and now that I've done it and I've been successful at it, now I feel more comfortable giving that type of advice. You know what I'm trying to say? So don't be that person that's worried about everyone else. Worry about yourself, worry about your growth and your success. And then once you've gotten comfortable, then you can help the people around you, okay? You help yourself before you help others. Put on your mask before you put on the other person next to you, okay? So hopefully that did make sense to you guys and it was somewhat entertaining. You know, I try to, you know, talk to you guys like big sis. So please let me know in the comment section down below what reason resonated with you the most or an overshare that you did which you regret. And yeah, let's talk about it and just get you out of this this chatterbox. We can't be chatterboxes in 2022. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on my platforms and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.